Shortly after 2 o'clock in the afternoon of March 17th, a 17-year-old Hamilton girl became the victim of a vicious assault when she surprised two burglars ransacking her home on the Central Mountain. That day, she arrived home from school, and as she walked up to the rear door, she noticed that the door was ajar and the lock had been damaged. Once inside, she saw that various doors leading into the hallway were wide open, and an unfamiliar new white gym bag with red lettering and snap fasteners was sitting in the living room. Walking towards the bag, she caught a glimpse of someone running down the cellar stairs. She went to investigate and found a youth in his late teens wearing dark pants and a bluish-brown plaid shirt hiding behind the cellar door. He had short black hair, a ruddy complexion, and was of thin build and of short stature. As she confronted him, demanding to know what he was doing in the house, he walked past her up the stairs. She followed him to the patio, and as she stood facing him, she was struck from behind by another person. The two suspects then dragged the unconscious victim into the house and put her on the Chesterfield. When the girl regained consciousness almost an hour later, the suspects were gone. Taken in this entry was a small quantity of jewelry and cash, as well as a 22 caliber semi-automatic high standard handgun. If you have any information regarding this crime or of any other major crime, call Crime Stoppers at 522-TIPS. That's 522-8477 to be eligible for a $1,000 cash reward. Each year at the height of the boating season, marinas everywhere experience a surge in boat break-ins. One of the latest in a series of incidents occurred during the night of August 26th when the Scott McDonald Marina at the foot of Simcoe Street West in Hamilton became the target of such a break and enter spree. As a result, 13 cell boats were entered and thousands of dollars worth of property, including binoculars, cameras, and boating equipment was stolen. In each case, the burglars gained access to the vessels by prying the gangway hasp leading to the main compartment of each boat. That same night, LaSalle Park Marina on the North Shore Boulevard in Burlington experienced 17 similar acts in which the same method was used to break into the sailboats. Although arrests have now been made in many of these cases, most of the stolen property remains outstanding. If you have any information regarding the whereabouts of the stolen property or of any other major crime, call Crime Stoppers at 522-TIPS. That's 522-8477 to be eligible for a $1,000 cash reward. Callers will not have to reveal their identity. Shortly after midnight on March 2nd, 1986, a clerk employed at Sandy's Texaco Gas Bar at 528 Mohawk Road East made up the night deposit and placed it in a blue bag. A taxi took her to the Royal Bank situated on Mohawk Road at Upper Gage Avenue. The helpful taxi driver pulled up to the east side of the building where the depository is located. Before getting out of the car, the clerk tucked the bag under her arm. She went to the depository and was about to open it when she felt a tug and realized that the bag had been pulled out from under her arm. She turned and saw the taxi driver chasing a young male east across Upper Gage Avenue. Unfortunately, the driver slipped on some ice and lost sight of the thief as he ran behind some buildings. The thief is described as a white male, short and slender. He is between 17 and 22 years of age and had long, dark hair. At the time of this incident, he was wearing a blue ski jacket with red lapels and a red toque. If you have any information regarding this theft or of any other major crime, call Crime Stoppers at 522-TIPS. That's 522-8477 to be eligible for a $1,000 cash reward. Callers do not have to reveal their identity. Broad daylight and the presence of people were obviously not enough of a deterrent to stop two youths from robbing an elderly man at the Center Mall in Hamilton on January 27th. It was at 3.30 in the afternoon when the 68-year-old manager of the City Motor Hotel arrived at the mall to do his banking. Before he approached the northeasterly mall doors, he took the precaution of hiding the night deposit bag under his coat. As he opened the door leading into the mall, two men trapped him between the double doors. They grabbed his arms and one of them reached into the manager's coat and withdrew the deposit bag. Both men then ran north towards the railway tracks. The manager tried to give chase but couldn't keep up with them. He returned to the mall and called the police. Investigators are looking for two men in their early 20s. 
The grubby, white Canadian Bank of Commerce cloth bag taken by the suspects contained cash, checks, and visa slips. If you have any information regarding this or any other major crime, call Crime Stoppers at 522-TIPS. That's 522-8477 to be eligible for a $1,000 cash reward. Callers do not have to reveal their identity. On two occasions within the past few weeks, burglars have struck hard at small West End Hamilton businesses. The first entry occurred sometime overnight on October 5th when thieves bypassed the alarm system of budget microcomputers located at 891 King Street West. Once inside, they went directly to the storage area and removed over $13,000 in new computer equipment, most of which was contained in original cartons. Brand names and pieces to watch for include an Apple Dual Processor, TEO Daisy Wheel and Dot Matrix Printers and Monitors, AdMate Dot Matrix Printers, IBM Compatible Cases and Power Supplies, and an assortment of dice and diskettes. Model and serial numbers are on file. Only two nights later, burglars struck again and once more removed thousands of dollars in computer-related equipment. In spite of the staggering losses incurred by this fledgling business, they have since gone to great expense in upgrading their alarm system. If you have any information regarding these burglaries or of any other major crime, call Crime Stoppers at 522-TIPS. Don't have to live in New York City to be a mugging victim. Hamilton has had its share recently. One of the most vicious occurred just prior to 7 p.m. on February 13th in Beasley Park at Mary and Kelly Streets in the north central core of the city. A bus driver had just finished work for the day and was walking to his car parked just a few blocks away when he heard footsteps running towards him from behind. He turned and was grabbed. While one of the attackers pulled his coat down over his arms, the other pulled his feet from under him, sending him to the ground. One man kicked the bus driver in the face with work boots while the other screamed for money. The bleeding victim was able to remove $25 from his inside pocket and hand it over. Still not satisfied, the attackers continued their punching and kicking, asking for more money. The victim lost consciousness. The attackers picked up the driver's briefcase and fled. The hospitalized victim later described to police, as best he could, his attackers. Both are believed to be white males in their late teens or early 20s, 5 feet 11 inches in height and of slim to medium build. One of the suspects wore blue jeans and work boots. It is obvious that the police have little to work with. If you have any information regarding this savage beating or of any other major crime, call Crime Stoppers at 522-TIPS. That's 522-8477 to be eligible for a $1,000 cash reward. Callers will not have to reveal their identity. Details in this Crime Stopper report. Taxpayers are again being asked to foot the bill for wanton and senseless acts of vandalism in our schools. Sometime after dark on January 11th, vandals broke into the Salt Fleet Secondary School on Gray Road in Stony Creek and proceeded directly to the second floor computer room. They were almost thwarted from gaining access to the heavily secured area, but finally managed to get in after considerable kicking at the door. Once inside, the vandals methodically pushed every computer from its pedestal onto the floor, causing over $20,000 in damage. They then left quickly, having fulfilled their single purpose. Nothing else was touched, nor was anything stolen. In the wake of these malicious acts, school board officials are once again faced with the dilemma of trying to improve security at our expense, while the police are left grasping at straws for clues. If you have any information regarding this vandalism or of any other major crime, call Crime Stoppers at 522-TIPS. That's 522-8477 to be eligible for a $1,000 cash reward. Callers will not have to reveal their identity.